Okay, we're going to start at the beginning. This is if this, then that. So it's IFTTT dot com. And if you've not ever signed in and created your account, this is what we need to do to do that. Pick a username. Add an email address. Create a password. Click create account. And we'll wait for the internet to roll. So we are welcome to if this then that. This is pronounced if. It's kind of like um, gift but without the guh. It's if. So we are going to be able to walk through getting started with um, if this then that we can use this one which is their general one that they they request but this is one that I go ahead and I delete the initial recipe once I've created the account now we have zero recipes and so we're going to walk through creating a recipe recipes are those things those connections that are made between internet services so we can see that we have none here we can browse for recipes and very simply the one that we're going to be using today and showing today is a Twitter recipe and notice that this is a dynamic search so it pulls up the things that it already knows about and we're searching okay and we have one right here that allows us to go from Twitter to Evernote and so we're going to use this one okay and so all we have to do is activate our channels and this is what it looks like if a channel isn't activated a channel is a, an internet service that's all a channel is so to click that we click activate and it's going to ask me if we can authorize the app and that's done and notice the Twitter activation goes away automatically we're going to activate Evernote and Evernote is now activated and we can now use this recipe that is all we have to do to, to use a recipe that's already created we can go back to our original recipes this allows us to turn the recipe on or off if it's off it's grayed out on it's in color this allows us to re-trigger that recipe so to make it run automatic, you know, to run it instantly or at that moment in time, you can click that, or you can click this to delete the recipe. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete this recipe, and I'm going to walk you through. And it's okay to delete the recipes. I'm going to walk you through creating the same recipe for yourself. Okay. And remember, this is a quick reminder: personal recipes are checked every 15 minutes. Okay. So if you turn it off and you turn it back on then that starts your 15 minute timer all over again so here's a we're going to create a new recipe we're going to create if this then that if this happens this is our action then this I mean, excuse me this is our trigger if this thing happens it's going to trigger this particular action so we're going to click this if and we're going to look for Twitter And there's Twitter and if I, I can have it to post to save every tweet that I give every tweet with a particular hashtag a new tweet every time I'm in a specific location if I'm using location devices um, if you have a link that you send out something that happens every time you have a new follower and please be careful with this one okay not all of us appreciate um, automatic messages without support behind them okay 
This one is a new favorite by you. This is the one that we're going to do today. A new favorite by you. There's no additional fields to complete. And remember, we had already authorized Twitter earlier, so it's still authorized. So we're going to create that trigger. And notice it fills it in. Then that. And in this case, I'm going to look for Evernote. And you can see it's right there, so we can just choose Evernote. And because it's already activated, we have all of the options there. I can create a note. But if I create a note here, it's going to create a new note every time I favorite something. That may not be what I want to do. Um, I actually am going to do a pinned note. And what a pinned note does is it puts the next tweet at the end of the note that, this, that they've created. And once Evernote reaches its, its file size for that note, it will create a new, uh, will automatically create another note um, to start adding things to. So Evernote creates those notes automatically for us. Now in this case, we can also change and, and, and deal with the body here a little bit. We can add to, if we wanted to create a message for ourselves or whatever, we can add that in here. If you know HTML programming codes, that's all this is, is a programming code. And um, you could adjust that the way that you want it. But then you create action, and your action will be created. And you'll notice this is just scrolling down the page. I can go back to any step and restart from that spot if I need to correct something. But this is the action. This is the recipe. Now we're going to create the recipe. So we've this is like we put all of our ingredients out, and now we're getting ready to put it in our, our book. So we click that. Recipe is created. We get the nice big green bar at the top. And because it's in color, we know it's already activated. We know that if we set the trigger, and then I favorite something, it's going to go to automatically to a notebook. I can turn it off. But when I turn it off it re and turn it back on, now my 15 minutes has started again. I can force it to check a recipe. I can throw it in the trash. There are other also other options. I can share this recipe. I can see the log on this recipe. And if you're, on, if you're using it, using the app on a portable device, a mobile device, the log runs automatically on the side of the page. And you can see your log for all of your recipes at once. Or you can delete your recipe. So this goes back to, we can go right back to my recipes from there or from there and we can see the recipe from there. So that's how you create a recipe. Um, be aware that there are, we'll look at all the channels, there are 116 channels activated. 10 are automatically activated when you enroll and those are basically things that if this then that use automatically. So you see that there are lots and lots. You can send things to Pocket, you can have Pocket send things to Feedly, you can add things to your Google Drive, and your calendar, and your Gmail. There are lots and lots of options. Facebook options. Um, for those of you that want to keep your Facebook and your Twitter and everything all together, there are lots of options there as well. So I hope that um, this has been useful to you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. You can find me on Twitter at MathNeil, M-A-T-H-N-E-I-L. And have a great day.